Hi, I'm Steve Arabato. We're coming to you from the North Ward Center in Newark, New Jersey, part of a, a conversation we're having, a series we're doing on autism. It's called A Different Way of Thinking. We're honored to be joined once again. Uh, he's been with us many times, Dr. Sharif Elnahal, Commissioner of the Department of Health in New Jersey. Good to see you, Commissioner. Thank you, Steve. The role of the department, the role of the state when it comes to helping those dealing with the autism challenge is? It's a really important topic, Steve, and I appreciate you bringing uh, the, these group of folks together who focus on it. Uh, New Jersey is one of the states that has among the highest autism rates in the country. One in 34 children in New Jersey are diagnosed with autism. A uh, part of that is because we have systems in place that actually allow us to diagnose it more reliably than a lot of other states. Uh, but we have to do something about it. And so uh, we have a lot of services at the state level that allow us to do that. Uh, broadly speaking, autism is a condition uh, of social functioning, uh, delay in uh, normal social behavior that you would expect from a child. And we have systems in place that allow us to detect that earlier than most states in New Jersey. So let me ask you, we, we have one of our guests, by the way, the commissioner is joining us on a 10-person panel discussion here at the North Ward Center uh, talking about this issue. And one of your colleagues uh, from up at Montclair State, you'll meet her, Dr. Catalano, who said it's a good thing on some level that New Jersey diagnoses um, at a higher rate than other states because? Well, the earlier you detect autism, the more you can do about it. And very importantly, the more you can support the families that have children with autism. What do they need? So they need a lot of support and understanding, number one, uh, how to uh, deal with behavioral changes in their child and allow them to thrive uh, and be as successful as they can be in school, uh, because all of that matters in terms of their education, in terms of their ability to transition into adulthood. And so the earlier you know, the earlier you can get that uh, child the right services. And luckily, New Jersey has programs in place that allow for that. So we have the early intervention system, uh, for example, that provides families with support that they need uh, to help children What is the transition. early intervention system? The early intervention system is actually a system of services where uh, the Department of Health, uh, our department, provides funding uh, to provider agencies across the state that actually go into uh, homes across New Jersey and assist families with children uh, who have autism. What age are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about as early as two years old. So early you as can, two? You can detect so, autism. Ahead, I'm sorry. You can detect autism as early as two. Uh, these services can actually be provided at age one or older. Uh, so over 50% of children in our autism registry, we're only one of eight states, by the way, that has a registry, which is good news because we can uh, do a lot of good research with that, uh, have, been, uh, have gotten services in our early mm -hmm. intervention system. It's interesting you mentioned the early intervention system. The other time, last time you joined us, I believe in our series State of Affairs, I talked to you about one of our other initiatives called Right from the Start NJ, dealing with uh, birth to three challenges that, that, that our infants and toddlers have. Infants and toddlers who are dealing with or, or struggling with autism, part of that discussion. Absolutely. So the early intervention system is for any type of developmental disability. So like you said, it can start at birth when there is a recognition that a child has a disability. Uh, but what the early intervention system allows for is to alert providers, pediatricians, uh, the healthcare system, uh, that a child may have autism uh, as they continue their services. And so that's one of many reasons why we're able to detect autism on average uh, at a younger age than most states. Our average is about four years old four. Uh, for detecting autism, which is earlier than the vast majority of states. Commissioner, fast forward. The whole question of aging out, is it 21? Is that the age? Yeah. What is the difference between how the state sees its responsibility, particularly your department? I know there are other state departments that are part of this complex mix of services on a state level. But here's the question. What changes at 21 for someone struggling dealing with autism in terms of what the state provides or doesn't? Yeah, the biggest issue is that we're, there's a whole host of services that have been built over decades. Advocacy groups have been on the ground, uh, Autism New Jersey uh, and so many others uh, that have provided services to children throughout the years. Because we're getting better at treating autism and providing services for children with autism, more of them are able to transition into adulthood. And so uh, people often speak of a cliff, falling off a cliff of services available at once 21? people reach the age of 21. Now, New Jersey is different in the sense that uh, that's been anticipated, and the New Jersey Department of Human Services in particular has an office of autism uh, that is providing unprecedented services for people transitioning into adulthood. So that's my colleague, Carol Johnson, and her the department. commissioner. 
Yeah, and Commissioner Manager Johnson. Governor's cabinet. Exactly. Uh, and the other thing is our advocacy organizations have already thought about this and are doing great work. Autism New Jersey in particular, I know that Suzanne Buchanan mm -hmm. will be in our panel She's part of uh, coming up, uh, has uh, come up with a really great training program uh, that involves parents, it involves uh, advocacy organizations, case management agencies, uh, and providers, bringing them together, teaching best practices, and helping people transition into adulthood who have autism. Let me ask you this, Commissioner. Because you also have a clinical background, and you've dealt with families, and dealing with all kinds of difficult, challenging clinical medical issues, health issues, what I'm curious about is public attitudes about not only a 12-year-old on the autism spectrum, but his or her family. To what degree do you believe societal attitudes, I've asked this of a lot of guests, to what degree do you believe societal attitudes toward those dealing with autism and their family members has in any way evolved or changed? I think it's evolving in a positive direction, Steve, but there are a lot, there's a lot of room to grow. Uh, first and foremost, awareness about the issue. Uh, programs like this, panels like the one that's coming up, are really important because people uh, need to be aware that children with autism uh, are being diagnosed more frequently, that uh, their child may have a classmate with autism, and uh, behavioral uh, changes may be noticed in friends and family uh, so that not only people would be able to detect it in their own families, uh, but they can be sympathetic and understand when another child with autism uh, comes into their life in one way or the other. So it's really important. Doctor, are you an advocate of children with autism being in a classroom with other children who are not on the autism spectrum? So ch children with autism do need specialized services. It's why we have the early intervention system. It's why we have great case management services in every county in New Jersey. As much as possible, we do try to insert uh, with the right services uh, children with autism in as many common environments as possible. So if they can thrive in a classroom, they should be in a classroom with other students uh, who may not have autism. But all of that is individualized because uh, autism is a spectrum. The DSM-5, which is the most recent diagnostic Explain manual. That. DSM is diagnostic. It's a diagnostic manual for psychiatric uh, disorders and developmental disorders. So the term, the autism spectrum, break it down in layperson's language. Absolutely. So a spectrum is basically a gradient from, uh, you know, not as severe to severe. And uh, there used to be classified into three different categories of autism. Now it's considered one spectrum because of so much variation you see in patients. Uh, but the most mild forms of the autism spectrum can be diagnosed as late as seven or eight years old because the symptoms are more mild. Uh, when you get into the more severe, you often and diagnose it earlier because changes are noticed earlier by family and by mm. physicians and providers. Uh, so the idea is that uh, every child is uh, their own child. They're individuals uh, and they have their own um, you know, characteristics in terms of the disease. So we really have to cater uh, our services and our thinking in a much more individualized basis. Commissioner, we appreciate not just this one-on-one -on -one in depth interview with you, but also the fact that you're joining this very prestigious and distinguished panel talking about autism, um, a different way of thinking. The fact that we're thinking it all and talking about it is important. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Appreciate it, Steve. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 30 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of State of Affairs with Steve Adubato has been provided by Keystone Mountain Lakes Regional Council of Carpenters, the law firm of Gibbons, P.C., the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ, New Jersey Sharing Network, International Union of Operating Engineers, Local 825, Choose New Jersey, Seton Hall University, and by these public-spirited organizations, individuals, and associations committed to informing New Jersey citizens about the important issues facing the Garden State, and by Employers Association of New Jersey.